Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a video on some of the books that are on my immediate TBR. I actually have so, so many books on my TBR. I actually have a bookshelf out in the hallway that is filled with them, um, but I don't normally show that because filming in the hallway is so difficult. But if you guys are wanting a bookshelf tour, definitely let me know. I'm definitely going to film that for you guys if you're interested. Um, but I thought I would go over some of the books that I have been meaning to get to, either because they are very new and I've been wanting to read them or I've had them on my shelf for far too long and I just need to suck it up and read them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because there's a lot of books, but I hope you guys enjoy. So I love historical fiction so much, I have no idea why I haven't gotten to this one, but this is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Sepetis, I'm not positive how you say it, um, but everyone who loves historical fiction says that this book is amazing. I'm not actually positive of what this is about, but I think it takes it takes place in Lithuania and they go to Siberia, which is so crazy and incredible. I can't wait to read about it. Um, but I've just heard nothing but good things. I love historical fiction and I've actually been in the mood for it recently. So I am definitely looking forward to picking this one up and seeing how I feel. Next is an absolute favorite of everybody. They have been talking about it so much because the last one just recently came out and I've heard nothing but good things. And that is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This book has been on my TBR since it came out. I've been wanting to read it. It sounds totally up my alley. It's about a guy who can travel between alternate Londons, I'm pretty sure. And I I don't know. I'm just so down to read this. I've actually listened to the audiobook. I think I listened to the first chapter and I really enjoyed it. But I actually heard that listening to the audiobook is not as good as re reading it physically. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be picking this up very soon and physically reading it because it's not that long and it just sounds so interesting and I've heard so many great things that I'm really excited to pick it up. Next is a book that I actually got right when it came out and just didn't end up reading, which is crazy because I really, really anticipated it. And that is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I think this book is about a game and I think they become, what do they become? I think it's, it's about a bunch of enchanters in Russia and the Ottoman Air Empire and they're battling I think for the crown I'm not positive that's what it sounds like um but like I said I was anticipating this book ever since it came out and I've actually heard some good things and it just seems like something I would really really like um I love like competitions and battles and things like that so I think this is going to be one of my favorites and I just don't know why I haven't picked it up Next is a book I actually pre-ordered and it just recently came in and I'm really ashamed I haven't picked it up yet because I tried so hard on Goodreads to win it in a giveaway. Every time a giveaway was listed, I would automatically submit my entry and I wouldn't win and I was just so sad because I wanted this book so bad and I went through all of that and yet I still haven't read it and I have it in front of me so that's disappointing but this is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett this is a book about a girl I think it's a when Harry met Sally no no it's not when Harry met Sally it's you've got mail I'm pretty sure um retelling maybe it's Harry met Sally no I think it's you've got mail are those both Meg Ryan movies am I getting the two Meg Ryan movies mixed up I don't know <laughs> But anyways, this is a book about a girl, I think she meets an anonymous person online and she doesn't know who he is and it's like a cute little contemporary romance about that. And I'm totally down for things like that. It's becoming summer and I can't wait to read some fluffy romances and this cover is gorgeous. I've said this before but I love this cover. I don't know, I just think it's so stunning and I really really love it so need to pick this one up. Next is a book that I think every Hamilton fan has been anticipating and looking forward to picking up because those who love Hamilton cannot get enough. So I actually picked up Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. I'm not positive if this goes with the musical or if this goes with a more historically accurate version or what, maybe it's just fan fiction-y, but this is about the love story between Eliza and Alexander Hamilton, and I'm just down for this. I'm Hamilton trash, so, you know, the more the merrier. I'm so down. I think this cover is really, really cute, and I've heard people really enjoy it, so if you like Hamilton, 
I've heard this is a good one to check out. So we'll see how it goes. So this next book is a book I haven't heard a lot about on booktube. I remember one person saying something about it, but I can't remember. But it's apparently becoming a TV show and I'm so down for it. It sounds so funny. And this is called Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. This is a book about a girl named Rachel who's actually a New Yorker, but she travels with her boyfriend to Singapore to visit his traditional Chinese family. And apparently it's about all of the chaos that ensues on this trip. And I'm just so down for it. I think it's supposed to be really, really funny and really cute. And I just love it. And this cover is so stunning. I just, so many good covers this year. I'm, ugh, I love it. Next is a book I have been meaning to pick up. I just haven't been in the mood for it. And that is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is a book that is science fiction and I think it's about a guy who wakes up and his life is not the way he remembers. I think he's living like an alternate universe. Honestly, I'm not positive. I heard this book kind of messes people up after they read it, um, but sometimes you just need a book like that. So I'm excited to pick this one up. The cover, again, beautiful. I'm matching it right now, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to pick this up and I just haven't had the courage because I don't know if I'm ready to be messed up in the brain, but we'll see. This one is definitely definitely one I need to get to. Next is a book that I have had on my shelf again like many of these others for a while and I've been meaning to get to it because it sounds up my alley and that is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is about a world where monsters are created by evil doings and it's about a girl who I guess she's a human and then there's a monster who wants to be a human and it's just, I think their friendship. I heard that there's no romance in this, which I'm so down for. There are not enough no romance total friendship books. So I need to get to this because the next one is actually coming out and I think it's actually a duology. So I'm gonna love binge reading these if that one comes out soon. So. This is on my list. Next we have Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. This is about three triplets, obviously, who all have different powers, I think, and they all have to grow up and battle to the death to see who is going to rule, and this is just how it goes through the generations. Um, and yeah, I think this is so interesting. They have to, like, you have to battle your triplet your triplets to win the crown like honestly what i have no clue but that's all i know about it and i've been meaning to get to it and it has deckled edges which is always a plus so yeah it's on the list so i'm a huge broadway fan and i absolutely love the phantom of the opera so why this one hasn't been read yet is a huge mystery to me and that is rose blood by ag howard this is a phantom of the opera retelling and i think it's about a girl who goes to a boarding school and meets this like really why is my shirt so weird why am it it's not pink in real life i promise it's orange i don't know this book is about a girl who meets a boy at her boarding school i'm positive and i'm not really sure it's a phantom of the opera retelling so i'm down for it and the type is in red which is so weird i've never seen that before and i love it so yeah Next is a book I actually got in my book of the month subscription box, which I'm not sponsored by, by the way, but I would love to be. So if you guys are down for that, let me know. Um, but this is American War by Omar El I Akkad. I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, but this was the book of April and this is the one I chose and it just sounded so up my alley. I was so excited about it. This is actually a dystopian kind of book, which I don't read dystopian often anymore, but this one really intrigued me. It says, in this fiercely audacious debut novel, Omar El Akkad takes us into a near future in which a politically polarized America descends into a second civil war. And amid warfare, a family fights to survive. So just that little brief synopsis intrigued me so much. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I think the cover is so cool and I love supporting debut authors. So this is a really cool book I'm excited to get to. Next is one of the most intimidating books on my TBR because it is so big and I've heard so many good things about it from Rig and from Peru's project. So I just need to pick it up because I know people love this book and that is The Name of the Wind by Pac Patrick Rothfuss. Um, I honestly cannot say I know what this is about, honestly. I really have no clue. Um, but I've heard so many good things that I think I'm just convinced. Like when Reagan says she loves a book, I'm like, okay, I need to buy it because 
I think she has the best taste in books. So yeah, this is a really thick book. It actually has almost 700 pages and yeah. I've also heard that I think the third one hasn't come out yet and it's been a couple years. So that's a little saddening too. So yeah, but I'm really excited for this one. I've heard that it's amazing and I need to read it. Next I have Passenger by Alexander Bracken. I don't know a ton about this book because I kind of wanted to go into it pretty blind, but I do know it's about time travel and time travel is one of those awesome book things that I love to read. I don't read enough of time travel, but I really, really enjoy it. And this is a chunker. This is a really, really thick book. So yeah, I need to get to this. I also have Wayfair on my shelf, so I'm definitely ready to finish the du duology when I get to it, so. Yep, I need to get to this one pretty soon. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but I think it's a book that I'm gonna enjoy. Next is a book that I hear Books and Lala talk about so much on her channel. I love her channel, by the way. And that is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. She said this was her favorite book of last year, which is such an amazing thing to say for a book um, because Lala reads so many books and she has the best opinions on books. Um, so I knew it was a book I needed to pick up. Um, I'm not really positive exactly what it's about, but I think it's a boy who comes in contact with aliens and has to decide if he wants to live or not. I may be making that up. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think he's just having to question whether he wants to live or he wants to die. And the aliens are talking to him, maybe. I don't know, but look at this cover. Like, are you kidding me? Next is a book I can honestly say I know nothing about, and that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I've heard somebody talk about it before. It was really cheap on book outlets, so I decided to pick it up. Um, Aaron Morgenstern from the author of The Night Circus said, once in a very long while, a book becomes a brand new old friend, a story you never knew you wanted. Station Eleven is that rare find, absolutely extraordinary. I think this is about a bunch of people, it may be post-apocalyptic, it may be historical fiction, I'm not positive, um, but I think it's this weird group of people having to get together and live together, and it's kind of about their experiences together, so I'm not positive if that's accurate, but I think that's what it's about. And I don't know, something about this book really intrigues me. I think it's just one that stands out to me every time I look at my shelf. So I'm really excited to get to it. And I've heard really, really great things. Next I have The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is a book I have definitely heard mixed reviews on and some people really love and some people do not like it at all. But this book really, really intrigues me. It's about a girl who is engaged to a prince, a king, a prince, I don't know which one, and she doesn't want to marry them. So she runs off and you're following the perspective of two different people. One is the king, prince, that she is intended to marry and the other is an assassin and so you're trying to guess which is which, you have no idea. And that really intrigues me. I heard that people were very confused about it but I just really wanna read it and see how I feel. Um, I don't know, it just seems so interesting to me. So I'm excited to get to this. Hopefully I enjoy it um, and if not, well, one less book on my TBR. <laughs> Next is a book that everybody absolutely adores and I have been meaning to pick up for a while because I also really, really want the UK editions of it, um, but I can't bring myself to buy that book set because I haven't read the first one and I feel like that's not fair. So I need to read the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. People love this trilogy. It is amazing apparently and people just like, nobody can say anything bad about the series. So. I need to pick it up. I got it on book outlet for really cheap because I knew how many, how much people liked it. And yeah, hopefully I really, really enjoy this so I can have the excuse of getting the beautiful white covers that are the UK edition. So I need to get to this one. It's also a chunker, so I'm very intimidated by it, but I'm excited. Last but not least, I have Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Chara Karai Potra. Oh God and Danielle Clayton. This is a book I think about ballerinas and their experiences in the ballerina industry and I think just like all the rough parts that you don't really see um, that ballerinas have to go through um, because on the back it says how far is too far which is kind of terrifying. So yeah I'm really excited to get to this. I've heard really really surprising 
only good things about it. And I did not think I would be interested in reading this just because I'm not a ballerina myself, um, nor have I ever really been a ballerina. So I didn't know if I would enjoy this, but I think it's definitely a much deeper topic than just the ballet aspect. So yeah, I'm really excited to get to this and I think it's gonna be great. Here we go. So that is gonna be the end of my TBR. I hope you guys enjoy. I know this was a really, really long video because you know me, I love to ramble. Um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked it, you can like the video and you can also subscribe and let me know if any of these books are your favorites or any of these books you are planning on reading yourself. And yeah, I just love talking to you guys in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.